the what the wait why am I in an infirmary wait wait why is this modern no wait what happened <gasps> Dracula you bitch oh you did me dirty No, 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 no. Camille's gonna kill me. Wait, where is she? Did she? Did he? No, 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 no. I can't believe this. You're awake? Manila! Uh, hey, everyone, he's awake! He's a good game bomber by his fellow classmates in which Araka leaps on his ass. Wonder if he's alright and what happened to him starting to cheer up. Family's gone. Huh? Oh, you must be talking about your hot vampire. Just go to sleep. I don't want to die. Morocco, let him go. He must be silenced. He's not even really being a pervert. He's just asking. Is that you, Grandma? Morocco, let him go. I'm sorry for being a smart ass. I'm sorry for being a perv. Our first seasons of school. Uh, uh, seriously, look at me. How often? <clears throat> Never mind. So what happened? So we get an explanation in which, like, so there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, there might be a chance. Toyami, I, I was looking through my books and there's nothing. Nothing about vampires being real. No. Y you gotta be kidding. Uh, sorry, man. They're not. They don't exist. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, huh? Hi, Toga. Yep. But you, I, how? I have my ways. Well, at least I do now. Her vanishing a puff of smoke and appearing right beside Izuku give him a bite on the neck. Is it here of the... This is all your fault, Izuku. What? Thanks to you, vampires do exist. It's just more hush hush. A you? Yep. How? When? Well, after I got locked up, I met someone who knew you. Is it Cam No. Not Camila. Hmm. But someone who looks very close to you. Close, you say. Yep. Uh, okay. You mind telling me? Don't worry, they're on the way here now. I gave them a, a lot of updates throughout the years after I've been introduced to them. 
so that they would come see you right about now. Uh, and who is Izuku? Dracula. I missed you so much after all these years. Tell me, how have you been? <coughs> you bastard. <laughs> You took me away from my family. <laughs> yeah, uh, about that, uh, we didn't really have much enjoy, so I found a way for you to get home, and rather <laughs> you go in my throat, or else we will level this whole school building with us just fighting. Fine. <sighs> so, explain yourself. How are you here? How are you even able to... Oh, yeah, that. I might as well tell you. After you, uh, were hastily returned home, forced, against my will, to return home, whatever, we took care of all the problematic vampires in which we were able to find a way to not only survive, but thrive throughout the years. And luckily, thanks to Camila and your kids. What? Oh yes, we found a way to truly blend in with society. Explain. Well, for one, when it comes to blood, we don't need it unless it's more like a energy drink. In fact, we can eat regular food just as next person. Because in this world, people do have other worldly powers. You see, sleeping in this era would be very fortuitous for both our species. You gotta be kidding. Oh, no, no. In fact, thanks to your offspring and them willingly allowing me to perform some tests on how their blood can be utilized. What? We were able to develop a serum that allows vampires to not have our weaknesses. Though, yes, enough damage beyond our healing capabilities will kill us. At the end of the day, yes, we are truly immortal. So, are they... Though they are chronologically older than you, they stayed in there child bodies for you know millennia until now wait what <sighs> let me just explain I've been studying up on the properties of cooling down ice or chronostasis you freeze drive my family at their request, and actually, plenty of vampires have decided to do the same to ensure that they are in an era where they may not be completely accepted, but enough so we will be seen as the same as anyone else. But first, we have to make sure that. No one knew of our true existence. 
which is why the books. Wait, so you look at Tokyo Yami. That explains why the books didn't change. We already told him what happened through the stories, so all he had to do was recreate them. Precisely. And yes, this allowed us to, you know. Well, I must say that is very impressive. Thank you very much. So, uh, yes, I understand you really want to know how they're doing. Why don't you ask them? Uh, wait, what? As Izuku feels this overwhelming presence of someone watching him as he gets jumped by two little eh, versions of him with different hair schemes one green and white one white and green Isuku being are you father the you <laughs> wait what are your names well, uh, I'm uh, uh, Kira. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. And I'm Hizashi. You're, you're n yes, I named them after your father. Please. I named our son after him. <laughs> that was very sweet of you. Uh, yeah. We waited a long time to see you again. Again, I haven't even... Oh. This is more like a formal meeting for the two of them. Though, yes, they were still developing. They were conscious. Uh, uh, how? Don't worry about it. If anything, they're just happy to see their father in a more Hmm. This is a personal setting. Kira. This is she. I'm so happy to see you. So happy to formally meet you. You have no idea how happy this makes me. <sighs> wow. It's just... Wow. Is that all you had to say, Dad? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just... You guys are... I was so worried I wouldn't see to see you. <laughs> hmm? Oh, uh... Himiko. Everyone. Yes, this is Kabila. You're finally formally meeting her, and these are my kids, our kids, right here. <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but oh wait, what is it? My mom has no idea what happened to me, does she? What's your excuse? For me being gone. Training. Oh, okay. Wait, Grandma? Yes. So she doesn't know about... No, she doesn't know about the vampires. I don't know, forget the vampires. I don't know about us. She doesn't know about her grandkids yet. No. No, 
she does not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she is going to blow a gasket, isn't she? Well, considering the age difference. Wait, how old are you guys? Mm, five. Ah, but chronologically, you guys are. Oh, we're older than you, Dad. No, there's no doubt about that. And I am far older than either of you. So, well, I, I, uh, this is gonna be an adjustment. Yeah. So, how should we inform your mother of Izuku? That you're home. Mom. You're finally back from training. Who are these people? And, wait. Who, who are these children and why... Why do they look like you? Ew. <laughs> uh, um, um, mom, uh, I, uh, all those are his kids. Um, oh yeah, and that's his baby mama. Oh yeah, just so you know, uh, she's a vampire, your kid. his uh, kids are damn peers, and technically so is Yuzuku, but that's all because of some weird quirk related stuff so and uh that's dracula there's his wife and hey wait where's alucard uh, did you just what inko staring at izuku noticing yeah he has fangs now and also the kids looking he pretty much almost carbon copies of him as well as camila hugging up Holding uh, his arm. Go faints. Which Izuku pretty much stabs Hibiko. In which, yeah, Hibiko. Though she is shocked that Izuku would be so impulsive, she's also like, I did not know you had it in you. As yes, she wraps her legs around him and proceeds to bite him. Everyone's wondering, do we need to be watching this? Camila's, it's okay, she's one of his wives. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, we ended up making a deal with Dracula. At least, she did. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. No, 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 This one, this crazy bitch. Hey, I'm your crazy. No, 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 no. No. You gotta be kidding me! Already have you! Why would I need her? Well, she knew precisely where you would be. And, you know, she wanted a reward for her information. And, besides just being a vampire, uh, uh, You agree to this? Uh, to be completely honest, I was happy you were sharing with you with doubt. <laughs> Little uh, snag right there. Pointing at Oraka. Like, hey, really? Yeah, I didn't care that much. Hank, you all care about Izuku, don't we? Yeah, except you almost killed him. It was a scratch. Literally. I didn't know he, he was going to fold like that. Whew. 
So, what you're saying is, yep. <laughs> That's right. Mizuku will be together forever. Literally. Bite me. Excuse me? You heard me. Toga, do it. Uh, oh, Araka, you're so bored. I didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Are you sure about this? Because this is a, a lifelong commitment. It's better if Izuku does it. What? Oh yes, turns out he has a different form of vampirism. At least the strand he has is different. The only reason why me and the, all the other vampires don't have to worry about sunlight is because of those little ankle biters of him. Yeah, at least, no, the fruit of his loins. What? Remember? We explained it pretty thoroughly, didn't we? Lacey them being natural dampiers and you being... <sighs> wow. That's... That's right. It's just this is a lot of information to process all at once. Oh yes, I can only imagine. Anywho. So... Are you going to do it? Are you going to shove those fangs into her neck? Make her one of us? Or are you just going to leave her high and dry? I... I uh, looking at Oraka. Looking at Camila. Look at his kids. He's like, I have no idea what to do here. Then you also and go, and what she has come to, but she's also, whatever you choose, that's fine with me. It's just so much to wrap my head around. Oh, Raka. Yes? Do you want this? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I said I want. Yes, I want you to turn me to a vampire. Yes, please. Oh my God. What was it, Togiyami? This is turning to one of those fucking oh romantic vampire bullshit things, isn't it? Damn it. My apologies used to be scary, now look what happened. Trust me, Tokiyami, you... There's, there's still bloodthirsty, ruthless killers. We're just dialed back thanks to me and my kids. You promise? <laughs> Believe me, the amount of carnage we reaped <laughs> it is not something you would see in a true romance novel. Okay, that's that's all that's all I need to hear. Thank you. You've renewed my faith in vampires. As soon as Zuku does bite down around his neck, she grabs onto him with a smile as her eyes fade but glow. To a bleeding, piercing red. Now, that is beautiful. Aren't you happy now? Very. But now I. Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I feel very hungry. Yes! Wait, how would you... You have no idea how painful it was for me when I was human. 
to curb my uh, tendencies. Though, yes, they've been nullified. I still had to get a bite to eat for a few moments I turned. Luckily, there was someone who was so willing to share. Looking at Dracula, you let her bite you. Oh, yes. Turns out, yes, we can feed on other vampires now. If anything, it really hurt. Hurts the first time, but we get used to it. Wait, so getting bitten by a vampire hurts? Uh, kinda sort of. Considering we do have a higher pain tolerance, the thing is, we still have the strand given to us by your kids and, you know, you, in which it does change us. Huh. Really? Yep. It sure does. So, yes, the pain is excruciating for a regular vampire, but if you... If you were uh, feeding on our vampire with your strand, it's not that big a deal. Oh, in that case, who's gonna, as the old rocker jumps on Izuku and bites down his neck hard. As everyone's watching this, Sokiyame, he is pretty much, why am I feeling jealous? And Mineta, he's like, why is this turning me on? What, what the hell is wrong with me? Everyone seeing Oraga pretty much just go down on Izuku. As soon as she does get off of him, she is on cloud nine. Toga, she's just patting her on the back. So. <sighs> I've never been so happy. How was it? Transcendent. I know. Considering he is the first of us, it would make sense why his would taste particularly better. What? Oh, yes. Why bit Dracula to help curb my tendencies? Yeah. It was okay. I mean, it just, yeah. I don't really have much of a taste for blood as I used to, which is weird considering I turned into a vampire, but my being to you, it was something far more hmm, delectable. Izuku's blushing as he sees the hunger in the eyes of Oraka and Toga. But when he turns his head and sees the same eyes but more vicious coming from Camila, he's like, Oh my god, what have I done? What have I started? Camila pretty much being like, Don't worry, this is only going to hurt for a second. Besides, we heal very fast. You especially. Wait! Wait! Uh, what? We should not be doing this here. What? What's the big problem? Him pointing to the class and everyone else as, yes, the girls are blushing, the guys are pretty much covering their legs, especially my uh, Bongo is pretty much thinking, what the hell? Why? Why does this have to happen? Tokiyami's looking... This is getting gory and very erotic super fast. Please just get a room somewhere. 
Well, we got Kira and as well as Sasashi are pretty much looking and seeing that Izuku is like, Dad, what is going on here? Huh. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see how this would be kind of uh, distracting. Everyone looking at Izuku as well as... Uh, oh, Chaco, who still has some blood on her lips. We can uh, continue our newly found uh, companionship some other time. Yeah. I, I just... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Inko? Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Uh, wait. You know my name? Oh, yes. Um, your son has uh, told me about you. He, he's a uh, very, uh, you know. He thinks very highly of you, and everything. Oh, really? Yes. And, uh, your son is a wonderful young man, I mean. I still don't know how this came to be. Oh, I shall, uh, regale you the tales of your son and his actions. It all started when he s saved my wife. Actually, May just looking. It all started when he uh, went through a time portal. What? Yeah, you see, it was a complete accident. Oh, yes, I, I can imagine it, Matt. So, you can also imagine the fact that, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, try our very best to get him back. Really? That's great. So, does that mean he wasn't in... A training camp or anything else? He was in a different dimension? No, just a no, 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 just a different time period where, you know, vampires and demons and all that used to run rapid and everything. And now you're here? Yes. And now I have grandkids? Mm-hmm. How old are they? Well, chronologically, they're older than you and him. Well, technically, since he was sent back in time, in which he did leave, live out some days there, technically he is relatively older. But seriously, that's again, that's a uh, a whole new uh, that's a whole bunch of a can of worms we don't want to deal with right now. But either way, yeah, they're older than pretty much everyone here. You're serious? Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, but this is just crazy. Oh, believe me, I know. I understand how you feel. I mean, imagine my reaction. <laughs> So me falling in love with a human, and that is until things happen, and now he's, uh, yeah. You go looking at her grandkids. She's happy. She asked their names, and she's just so touched that the boy is actually named Hazashi, because it's like, wait, your name is Kira. Yeah. 
Uh, should I be concerned? No, 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 no. At least I don't think so, no. I mean, she hasn't shown any violent tendencies per se. What? I mean, she could get rather violent when she's upset, hungry, uh, fighting someone. What? But she's just a... I, I know, but all things considered. Huh. I, I, I'm happy to be a grandmother, but I'm also... Very concerned. That makes sense. But you have nothing to worry about. We are very mm, confident in their upbringing. I mean, Hizashi is such a well behaved boy. Yes, his sister may be somewhat problematic at times, but those times are very few and far between. Mm. Okay, so my son was sent back in time. After all, everything else has happened to him, he was sent back in time to a land where vampires are real and demons and he was killed? Technically, yes, but no, also? Explain. Well, you see, we uh, cried tears of blood in which when uh, he was uh, shot with the arrow, I... Uh, cried on his wound, fearing that I'd done lost one of the few people I truly care about. Oh, so that mixed in with his blood, and some weird lightning showed up from his body, in which he was healing slowly, but. Since it was a wholly imbued uh, arrow, it, it had to be removed first. There's, there was this whole thing. I mean, we had to fight death. Excuse me. Yeah. Y you might want to sit down a, a little bit. This, this is going to take a while for us to really explain. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay, as Ingo is being pretty much spoon-fed everything that would has for uh, acquire a heart attack. Upon realizing her son has really grown up, she feels happy that he's turned into such a wonderful young man, but also terrified at the sheer potential trauma that he suffered. Because, goodness gracious, the amount of bodies that he's accumulated is ridiculous. And having to fight death. And being told that death, Tiffany isn't dead, but he, just resting and gathering more power. So yeah, she's rightfully scared for him. Though Camila tries her best to truly downplay somewhat the actions and as well as the potential actions that would cause severe trauma to a point where someone might want to, you know, it's not, it's not working. She's clutching her heart. She's crying. Everyone, a river that would even flood the Nile. So he, everyone can imagine 
the pain she's going through, realizing that her son has been through absolute hell. Forget just the modern amenities. He was an enemy of the church. <laughs> the church. And, and she knows what the hell. They, they can be very, very violent. Given the right motivation. If you. Hell, being a blood sucker is terrible. Already, so yeah, being in league with Dracula, someone who was going to pretty much decimate humanity as a whole, all for his wife being burned at the stake for trying to help people. Yeah. He goes, rightfully so, very concerned at this, uh, how this stuff would affect Izuku's psyche. However, Izuku persevered. A lot of nonsensical crap. And upon finally being able to catch a breath of... <sighs> Yes, that sounds like him. That sounds like my son. So, uh, Miss Midoriya, about what we said... Oh no, I'm still upset for you guys lying to me about where he was. I would at least like to know the dangers he faced. But at the very least, he's home now. He doesn't have to worry about going back to the past. He doesn't have to go back, does he? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, uh, we fixed anything. In everything that could have been considered a loose end. Oh, except for death. What? Oh, yeah, turned out death, or it's the one who calls himself death, absorbs souls of the dead to gain more power. And you guys made sure that there wasn't so much, at least as much death in the world this time? What do you mean? If there's death in the world, wouldn't if this person who called himself death need souls to replenish power, wouldn't that mean that every death Every living being would be absorbed by him. Oh, what? We, so we tie up any loose ends. We pretty much just, you know, faded out of existence. Technically, what? Yeah. You know, people see us as, you know, uh, fairy tales, legend, things that didn't exist at all. So what you're saying is, practically the amount of people who perish is would still be the same, if not larger. <laughs> all things considered, cause when it comes to the influence of death. No. Yeah, we didn't really consider that. So what you're saying, for countless years since you defeated him, yeah, they possibly, uh, they possibly already started the process of absorbing a lot of souls. And the and the souls he was uh, absorbing it's not it isn't just limited to the you know the region in which this all began. No, it's global. <sighs> so, in other words.
words, you, we, we, we're pretty much up the creek without a paddle. If they decide to launch an attack or anything. The amount of death has happened so, so many souls gone. Potentially being absorbed by someone who, oh, no, 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 no. What are we supposed to do if they, they come back for my son? Oh, <laughs> we didn't think of that either. Check this out. Wow, I, I I am shocked. I really dropped the ball here, didn't I? <laughs> wow, how could I not consider that? Of course, him of all people would want revenge after his plans have been thwarted by a child, basically. <sighs> this son's gonna die. <laughs> Well, technically, he can't really die unless he gets some. He really gets hurt. So, maybe death will come for him so. It won't come so easily. Is that supposed to be better? Yes. Is it working? No! No, no, no! You're pretty much saying my son angered someone who called themselves death! You have no plan to do it. The most souls that will be able to accumulate are immeasurable. As many people who have came and went in this world is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is... Oh, this is just... It's just... Miss, Miss, Miss Medoya, what, what are you trying to say? This is bullshit! <gasps> huh? And Izuku just looks in, in utter shock. Ma, did you just... Shut up! Shut up! This is bullshit! Bullshit! That's what it is! <sighs> I can't believe it! I failed. What are you talking about? I failed as a mother. No, 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 you didn't. I'm, I'm alive. Barely. You're a vampire now, Dampier. Whatever. And now I'm hearing that death may be after you. All because you ruined their plans. Oh wow! Now that you say it like that, wow! Yeah, I, I, I really done uh, stepped in, and, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's the only thing I can think of that won't cause me to shed tears of sadness and possibly hopelessness. Because we have no idea how much more powerful this version is. Despite the fact that, yeah, death is an old, old concept in which, when you think about it, the amount of souls accumulated before. Whew. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, goodness gracious. Ugh. So you finally see. The, the dilemma here, yes? Yo, no kidding. Oh, so what? Oh, man. I can't believe this. Well, so, so now what? Uh, I have an idea. Huh? Dad? Hello, Mama. Mama, what's your dad doing here? Well, I... I actually don't know. Oh, sorry to come out now. I just uh, wanted to say hi to an old friend. 
once I learned that he was here. Oh, wait, I don't think Principal Mercy was here. I was like, no, no, not him. The Count? Excuse me. Oh, yes. You see, <clears throat> Mama, once uh, you are a Belmont. Excuse me. Oh, yes, yes, you are. We are descendants of the Belmonts, and as are you. What? Hmm. Well, now isn't this a uh, interesting turn of events? Wait, so if the Belmonts are still around? Oh yes, in fact we are splintered off into several groups or clans or whatnot. You're serious? Mm-hmm, indeed. So what about the magic spells and weapons and sacred texts and all? Yes, 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 we, we have it all. Well, that, that's a, that's great, isn't it, though? Mm, yes, yes. So, let's just say, this death does show their face, or possibly lack thereof, we shall be ready for them. Uh, wait, but, to, for us to beat death last time... Oh, yes, um, young Midoriya. Yes? Yeah, hold, hold on to these and, uh, won't you get them a uh, try? Izuku being handed these silver gauntlets. Spite gauntlets embrace surgeon all day. Wait, wait, what is going on here? You know that holy whip that you used to fight death with. Yeah, I had to wrap that bloody thing around my damn arm, in which every punch I used to hurt death hurt me too. Precisely. Since you are more of a brawler X type, that you know, I seem to make sense if you had wanted something more akin to your fighting style. You don't say. Oh, yes, but I do. Wow, I... I, I don't... I, I just don't know what to say. Oh, I think nothing of it. If it weren't for you, our family w probably wouldn't have had the honor of being a part of the distinguished Belmonts. Goodness. I can't imagine the stress our ancestors must have went through to take on such seemingly impossible odds just to be betrayed by the very people they were sworn to protect. Let alone uh, persecuted in our great ancestor, the Seeker. Uh, the fact that her people were just persecuted, magic practitioners who were still on humanity's side despite everything. Just tragedy. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Well, <clears throat> the plan is that we suit up, train, and get ready to administer an ass whooping of godly proportions to death and hopefully if we're lucky there will be little casualties just everyone staring at Manetta like oh fuck you guys anywho we do wish you all luck but dad what, what are you talking about aren't you guys Aren't you a mom helping us? Oh! <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since we decapitated 
anything that posed a threat to humanity. Though, yes, we've trained enough, being in actual combat was was a few and far in between, in which, yes, though we know the skills, it's not the same as actually implementing them. What? Ah, think of it like this. Though you know what to do, it's the experience of actually doing that thing that proves that you are ready to do it. Huh? It's like it's like taking your driver's test. Or let's say this: we get your learner's permit. You don't really do any real driving, now, do you? Uh, oh, yes. It's pretty much like you just take a test and boom, you're certified to drive as long as there's someone who actually has a license. However, that is different than driving a car. We have no experience knowing. All the book work, paperwork and everything is nice and all, but it holds no significance when it comes to actual combat or actual driving skills. You have to hone those in actual, you know, situations in which you drive, or in our case, fight. Ah, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, uh, huh? Ah, uh, he's so good. Come back to bed. Uh, Toga, what the hell? Why are you? Why are you only wearing a sheet? Uh, because Oraka is hugging your, no, your hoodie. I seem to have arrived at a very interesting time. So, so I shall be taking my leave and uh, yes, yeah, so please enjoy the, the, the oh no, to be young again. Uh, okay, that happened. So. Uh, as far as training goes, yes, everyone here has fun villains and everything. <laughs> uh, uh, look, I have never heard you laugh like that. You don't want to compare death to those flimsy villains. You, you could easily one-shot any of those villains. Right now, if given the chance, are you seriously trying to compare death to those weaklings? Seriously, our training sessions, as told to me by you, were leagues much more dangerous than any of the villifies that you ever participated in. Oh, jeez, is that true, Midoriya? She, at first, she did not hold anything back. I was lucky enough to, to be able to heal myself. She was... Was? Do, do you need a reminder of the ass whoopings I would de deliver to you? <clears throat> no, no, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um... But yeah, she is is a powerhouse. And so is Dracula and Alucard. Wait, where is Alucard? Seriously. I was seeing him since Oh, he's He's busy. Busy. B busy how? What what has Alucard been doing? Well, um He's uh on a date. <laughs>